everyone, welcome back. Kiki Cannon with Cannon Studios here. And today I'm gonna to be uninstalling my old flex plate on my Jupiter and installing Wham Bam's new XTR plate. So if you wanna stick around to just figure out how to install these flex plates, feel free. It's super easy. I also have other installation video as well. So let's go ahead and get started. And here is the original flex plate I have already installed on my Jupiter. I have both of them installed, but I was going to uninstall this one to replace it with this one here. So first I'm gonna take a plastic scraper, not using metal. So this was definitely extremely hard to get off, which I mean, I guess is good and it did its job. I just, it was just such a struggle. I had to have some help to even get it off. And then I just peeled away any of the excess residue and I would spray alcohol and then kind of rub it down and spray alcohol and rub it down until I pretty much got all of the residue off completely. And then I used the sandpaper that Wham Bam provided to really just go in like circles and um, just get the surface all cleared of everything. And then I would also use alcohol to kind of spray off any of that residue, making sure that everything looks good um, I put one last layer of alcohol and cleaned it off before moving on to the next step, making sure that the surface is completely clean and ready to add on the magnet. Now that that's done with and your piece is completely clean and you've sanded it down, I'm just going to peel off the back without touching it at all. And this part I think is a little bit tricky but I kind of line up my plate at a 90 degree angle and then take the mat pulling up the magnet part carefully. This is definitely easier if you have bigger hands and I don't, I have small hands, so it's a little trickier for the Jupiter. And then I just add pressure on the bottom part only. And basically what you wanna do is prevent any air bubbles of getting in. So I keep the top part off of the plate while slowly pushing down and going up each layer and making sure you feel with your hands to make sure it's even before you do the initial um, impression. And I'm just gonna go back and forth up slowly. You can do this with a tool if you would like. Um, I don't recommend using metal tools. I'm just gonna do this with my hand and that usually just works fine. And so I'm just going up until I'm just pushing the air out until you get to the very top. And then I just kind of set it down and just push down on it to make sure it's good. Now that the magnet's on and it looks good, usually to add on the flex plate, I just take it at a 90 degree angle and then just slap it to it. And then that usually gives a pretty um, even. And if you just need to redo it, you can just take it off and redo it. So once it's on, make sure to clean it off with alcohol really well before we move on to the next step of leveling. So before starting, unscrew and remove the vat and make sure all your top screws are loose so that way the build plate has room to kind of move around to make the adjustment for the height on its own. Now I'm just using the leveling paper that Iligu provided and I'm just setting it down on the screen before I start. And we're just going to turn on the printer and go ahead and do the leveling process. Go to tools manual and then the bed leveling picture which is right there and I just push that and it goes down automatically on its own without any spacers or anything else I've done this on my Mars my Saturn both my Jupiters and I've installed plates on all of them and I'm replacing this plate and my print came out perfectly fine so I've been doing it the same way and it just pushes down, it's able to move it. And then basically I then tighten everything in place and I don't over tighten the screws, especially this top one. Once I feel a little bit resistance, I just push it a little bit further, but don't over tighten this part. And then I just manually bring back up the build plate here, pushing the up arrow manually. Again, it's in the manual settings. And then I just put my tray back in and here is my first print on the new printer. I printed half of a Mandalorian helmet with this new plate and it came out great and I didn't have any issues. So I hope you all find this video helpful. 
and you're able to utilize this for your coming up projects the new plate is definitely really strong i needed help it was really on there which i guess it's doing its job so i've had a lot of success with it so far and i hope you guys find this helpful for printing your future projects thank you guys so much for joining again